Hey, students of music theory, here have an example of good student work composing in minor. And here's a harmonic progression in four parts in chorale style. And the student is making use of a 5-6 chord, which is a lower neighbor dominant chord. It's got the leading tone in the bass. He's making use of a 7-6 chord. A 7-6 chord is the, a chord that has the leading tone, the second, and the fourth, and it functions as a good connector between one and one six. Your one six chord is a one chord in first inversion. And then he heads up to scale degree four in the bass, and he uses a five four two. Five four two is the third inversion of a five seven chord, and in this case, the seventh of the chord is in the bass, and it therefore needs resolution down. And it does. And here we have an interesting chord. Here you have a six chord in second inversion. Usually five, four, two chords you'll find often resolving into one six chords, which have scale degree three in the bass. But here, here's an inter interesting substitution, which is a minor chord, and it's also got scale degree three in the bass. Again, a six chord in, in root position would be notes six, one, three. And here you're offered the three in the bass, which provides good resolution for the five, four, two. Okay, let's take a look at some of this part writing. Here's the one chord at the opening. Okay, some good stuff here. Notice how the student maintains the common tone between the one chord, the five, six chord, and the one chord, and that scale degree is five. Again, one chords and five chords share a common tone scale degree five. So whenever you can, you should maintain it. Notice the contrary motion ascending in the soprano and the descent down in the bass. Whenever you can, try to go for contrary motion between soprano and bass. Notice how there isn't more than an octave between any of the upper parts. So between tenor and alto, there isn't more than an octave. Between alto and soprano, there isn't more than an octave. Try to maintain that rule. You can have up to a tenth between tenor and bass at times. So one more time, let's look at this progression. Okay, let's look, look at the motion into the 7-6 chord. Good, and in minor, he raises the leading tone. A 7-6 chord is a chord that has the notes 7, 2, and 4, which would be in the key of E minor, D sharp, F sharp, A but it sits in first inversion, and it's a diminished triad. So once again, the root tones in a 7-6 chord are D sharp, F sharp, and A. And notice how this, tri this triad is diminished, and therefore the raised superscript degree symbol. A diminished triad has a, dimin has a minor third from its root to its third, and there you have your D5. So one more time from the opening. Notice how he resolves the leading tone upward. All leading tones tend to resolve upward. Notice the parallel thirds. Notice the contrary motion between soprano and alto. Very good. Okay, let's look at the next chord, the 5-4-2 chord. This chord is a chord that has the notes of the dominant triad plus the added seventh. So in the key of E minor, the notes of the dominant triad would be B natural, D sharp the leading tone, F sharp, and what would the seventh be, students? It would be the A. And the A sits in the bass since the chord is in final inversion. So in this arrangement, you get and the seventh is in the bass, and it needs resolution down to the what? What scale degree does the seventh of the chord need resolution down to? It's scale degree four, and it heads down to the third scale degree in the six, six, four. Again, to clarify, the final chord, a 6-6-4 six, six, chord, is a 6 chord in final inversion. In root position, a 6 chord has the notes 6-1-3, six, 
And this chord, 664, offers a good substitution for 1 6 if you choose to use a minor chord after a 5 4 2 chord, giving that more somber effect. So, one more time, here's the very opening of the progression. Ah, oh, once again, really good work, thank you. Good, very good part writing. Interesting leaps, avoids parallel motion, avoids parallel octaves and fifths, and just provides a really nice part writing. Just review the soprano line. And the bass line. parts together so it's really important to create interesting contrast between soprano and bass and he does that very good work good 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 job see you next time